Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to write to a file in Julia. Okay, first of all, let's create a file that we want to write onto it. So whatever we're going to write, we are going to create a file called new.txt, right? That's the file we are going to create. This file is empty, so we can check whether it's empty by first of all opening it. As we already we already learned that before you can read something from a file, you have to first of all open it first so we in a read mode so when i go and then i read it read lines and then i go with the new file in the tst it's going to tell me that this is empty so now we're going to see how we can write something on it so let me put this one into a variable called n2 right so now, how do you write it? So there's one, one of the ways you can write is to use the write format, write function, which is inbuilt. Then you go with the first, it will take the name of the file, which is new.txt, or it can take the variable. Then you go with this. Then this is going to be the content. So this is our first string. So if I want to, 24 characters have been written on it. So if I want to read it, I have to first of all open it again by running the script again. So let me open this. Right. The read mode. You should be very careful about this that this is supposed to be in a read mode. And then I run this one again, the read lines. Which can go as this. So that that's it's showing me that this is our first string. So this is one of the ways you can write to a file, but you be very careful about this option of the read mode. So what will happen is if, if you make this one W, which is write mode, it's going to overwrite everything on it. So let's try that one and see. Now next script, let me open this one. This one is going to be in the right mode. So if I put it in the right mode, whatever is on it is going to be gone. Even if I write, whatever is on it, even if I read it again. See that there's nothing on it. So if you're very careful about this. So the best way is to use the append mode to be able to add something to it. So this is the basic concept of our writing files, writing strings to a file. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can put it in the question section so that everybody can benefit. Then please don't forget to subscribe and share. Stay blessed.